Hey, welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leading towards a singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And uh, we've been away for quite a few weeks, <laughs> yes, over a month. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Been getting very busy. But uh, we're back, better than ever, and uh, going to redo this a little bit, actually. Uh, going to have um, each individual story is actually parsed into about five minutes, and then have them kind of as separate videos, and then just a singularity topic at the end as a, as a 10 minute video. Because yeah. no one likes watching our 30, 40 minute. Exactly. Yes. Actually, people do, so. That's always great. So maybe more people do it if we do a bit less. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're very strict on the five minutes for each story, and then later on with the, the 10 minute one. And, ooh, you're saying about getting people to join in as well? Yes. That's what you're excited about? Yes. No. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, if we've missed anything over the last six weeks oh, that yeah. you think is really important that we should actually talk about, or you want us to talk about, um, just post it on the Facebook wall and mm. kind of abuse us and just say, talk about this one. You have to abuse us if you want, it to yeah. do, if you want us to do it. Be like, be like, oi, bitches, talk about this, because it's good. Yep. And stuff. Got to use a Cornish accent, it works well. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Oh, well, yeah, and just at the thing, what we're thinking of doing for, for later weeks, so we have to set it up, but thinking of maybe using Google Hangouts or one of the other ones, actually having with the like singularity topic and all of that, getting a few people and just chatting about it, just setting up a webcam and have us yep. all there. We've talked about doing live stream before. I know. But we have to work out a, a time where we can just say, yep, we're going to definitely be here on that time. and Yeah. Because we're stuck in the Southern Hemisphere and it blows. Yeah. Uh, so our singularity topic for this yeah. week is actually based around uh, this uh, fantastic article that DARPA has just invested $42 million no, 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 into... No, no, no. They're planning on investing. Oh, planning on investing, sorry. They're looking for applications. Right. Into a social media in strategic communication, uh, which is all about pretty much identifying, monitoring, and controlling... Um, Social media. Yeah, the program's plan. Is yeah, let's, let's put the plan. The program's plan is four falls: detect, classify, <laughs> measure, and track. A formation, development, and spread of ideas and concepts, memes, and B purposeful or deceptive messaging and or misinformation. Yeah, so that's a big one. Two. Oh God. So we, we go through one by one. Yeah, let, 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 let's do that. Do we need to? Oh, okay. Okay. We'll just briefly say because we'll, we'll okay. get off that pretty quickly. Okay. Two, two, recognize persuasion. <laughs> two. Oh God. Okay, no, two, recognize persuasion campaign structures and influence operations across social media sites and communities. Three, identify participants and intent and measure effects of persuasion campaigns. And four, counter messaging of detected adversary influence operations. <laughs> I like that last one. Counter messaging of detected adverse <laughs> operations. So anything yeah. that you know that DARPA doesn't want you to say on the CIA or the counter it. Yeah, exactly. You counter it. So you work out how to influence people and how to actually get yeah. your message out there. We knew so, this was happening. But yeah, this is what we've talked about before. Quickly. I think we. I think. Well, I did. I coin the term. What. Hitler 2.0. No, I think you did. <laughs> it doesn't mean that at all. <laughs> it was only until like ages after that, after that people kind of told people me. People like you're associated, that, you want to kill all the Jews, but no. probably this stuff. <laughs> Second time around. <laughs> no, no, I mean like a, you mean like a global propaganda yeah. machine. The idea that you could. That Hitler could rise again through this technology. Yeah. That's the but idea. Anonymously. Anonymous, yeah, yeah, of course. Because if you can control the flow of information and what people see and basically see all the influences, mm. Within, like this is what they want to do. They want to actively measure, detect, and track how ideas spread. Oh, and then recognize spread. persuasion campaign structures. I mean, if you can actually pull that down to a science, and they're using the term science here, like actually work yeah. it out as a science a formula. This actually gets the message out there and influences these large group of people this yeah. way. Because when they're quantifying the way that we talk and interact, if it's quantified, then you can apply you know scientific methods to it. What we're doing. You can actually control exactly the way that we are, and then we become just the neurons in the well, just parts the of the machine, the cogs yeah. in the machine. The, the brick in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. It's very, it's, it's hectic, but so they've only just started this, right? They're, they're looking for applications for 42 million? Yeah, yeah. They're, um, and, so yeah. I'm thinking of applying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's 42 million dollars. Like, that's, you'd probably that's have, not yeah. a lot in terms of their spending, but the fact that it's targeted at this is yeah. kind of interesting. I don't, see, it, it feels like this needs to be very open. or it, it needs to be very aware. Like, people need to be aware of how it's, how it's no, done. No, but no, because it's being done for cyber intelligence. Yeah. Like, they've, they've, uh, there's no doubt they've already got systems in place that are tracking and monitoring oh, definitely. this. definitely. But I think this is just to kind of do, like, an XPRIZE type grant model to yeah. get people to come in and say, hey, here's a cooler way to do it. Here's yeah. Because it's, it's going to influence us no matter what. Like, it's like advertising. Sure, we're aware of it and we know what it's doing, but it does influence us massively. Yeah. So, I mean, even if we're aware of how it's actually working with us and how it's actually changing us, 
that I don't think that'll be enough because this it's going to happen anyway that we're going to be completely controlled well not completely controlled we're going to be influenced and changed by people yeah. doing this well plus it's it's not it's not obvious inform- like uh, manipulation like advertising no. where it's like this is an ad what like say it could be your uh, friend yeah imagine your friend posts this posts this new piece of information and it's like oh wow blah 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 <laughs> exactly. which is which you know they may have actually honestly like honestly posted but they may have actually been coerced into honestly posting that. Yeah. Like there, there might not be any ill intent in what they're no, posting, no. but from the, they could, it could trickle all the way back to like, Hey, you know, DARPA or fucking yeah. the Pentagon actually s- started this little piece of information and they just knew the network so intricately yeah. and knew all the formulas and everyone's behaviors and values and everything that they knew that if they posted that there, it would trickle down yeah. in a very particular way to all these other people and influence this bigger network. Well, think about, say, Fox News as a, as a great example. I mean, oh, it's a, no, it, it really is a good example because if yeah. you could actually monitor saying that, look, let's just post out all of our things at the moment, all, all the different stories, all of that, we'll watch the ones that actually get the most traction because they're a news channel. They've got non-stop. They can see which ones are actually gaining the most, especially if, let's make the assumption, uh, I want to work off the assumption that everything that is shared and everything that is um, spoken um, about online is all tracked and all measured. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's eventually going to happen. So, like, if we assume that, then you can actually start working back. And same with Fox. If they can track everything and see where it's actually gone through, they'll know exactly what to target, what actually resonates with different things. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you apply some more stuff there. You can pick out the influences and actually say that, look, these people are the ones that actually spread it. So, let's actually start targeting our information towards them. Yeah. <laughs> and it just becomes more and more and more because it's your friends that are, well, as you were saying before, that are redirecting. Or anytime that you're on a screen... All of that information there is customized yeah. to who has the biggest budget to actually influence you. Yeah. And this is programming. It's exactly. So, so where does this go? What, 10 years from now, 20 years. Oh. <laughs> go on, be depressing. Where, where do you think it goes? Well, yeah, we've talked about this a lot before. Though. I think the recommendation engine again, we're eventually going to have one website basically where it's just all customized to you and you're not really going to question it. Like it's a bit like um, the Facebook thing already. Um, what about the, the Facebook thing, the Facebook feed already is already uh, filtered. Mm. There's a thing called filter bubbles. A lot of people are writing about and scared about yeah. it. And if those filter bubbles are coerced in a very kind of conscious way, then the information you receive is manipulated in a very conscious way. Yeah. And you quite literally program individuals. You yeah. program their minds. If I'm on this 12 hours a day, which is standard, right. yeah. if not slow <laughs> um, then and, and the information is coming at me and it's programmed in a particular way to get me from to go from say one value set that I have or one opinion or one particular yeah. thing to another one mm. in a very systematic way then it's, it'll do that well, exactly I mean you're controlling all the information that they consume I mean, let, let's say it's not even like channels, like, you know, switching, because that's a dumb medium. This is very personal, just towards you, because yeah. everything that you've done online is all recorded, all right there. You just get fed just the information that works for you. Yeah. And of course, that information like, can be configured. I mean, it's it's naive to think that we're in control of what how we respond to the information. Yeah. The information is going to end up responding to us. And so if you start having, say, a negative influence on there or something, neg- something that you don't want on there, yeah. it can actually start, you know, changing the way that you don't, think to bring you across. Don't do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, say like, you know, Fox News seeps in and all of that, and then they start, they identify that, look, you're not into that conservative mindset. Yeah. Um, the way that we've actually seen other people go from, a, say, more of a liberal mindset or whatever to a conservative mindset is by providing these small little tidbits that, you know, undermine the credibility yeah. of the ideas. Then they start providing more, and they do it very subtly as you actually consume all of this until you're full across there as yeah. a conservative, say, a few years later. Yeah. Like... And obviously, again, okay, that's the bad side. That's the bad side. There's a very positive side to this. Yeah, obviously, it's it's a good way to kind of stay for um, like grassroots movements or just hive minds in general. Hive I mean, minds, yeah. my god, I mean, think about you want to learn a topic, and then they just they, they identify that oh look, you're actually at this point that you you've been researching all this stuff. Like I've been into space stuff recently, looking at all the galaxies, how they're formed, and blah blah yeah. blah blah. If, if everything is all recorded, how that's done, then you can actually start providing the next bit of information and saying, oh, look, now try out this, or now try out that. Yeah. And because it's just information that's just feed it to me. Yeah. We kind of go to... We've gone the next step, the, we've gone the next step from this is uh-huh. just influence. Yeah, that's just Finding influence. the influences and then... Oh, I suppose that's, they're planning on they're doing that anyway, like coercing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. And I mean, that, that's the cyber intelligence, but I mean, you look at a consumer level, that's where it's going to impact us the most. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there is the whole negative thing. And I mean, it is something to be wary of. I don't know any way you can combat it, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, unless you 
actively know where your information source is coming from. Exactly, and you can't, because especially if it's your friends and all of that. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like our food, we don't really care no. or know where it comes from, it just, no, it's just there. Just there. So, I mean, there are a lot of fun. I, I do like the, the, the hive minds that are going to develop there. I mean, just innovation yeah. is just going to be a little bit ridiculous because this is all, you know, more coming open and everyone thinking about this. So it actually programs and helps you actually work. It is programming humans, I guess. Quite literally. Yeah. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think about all of that. Can we say a happy thought about it? Yeah, okay. So what, what's a happy thought? There'll be more clowns or well, less minds. Okay, let's, I'll, I'll step into Pentagon shoes. There'll be less war. Well, true, there will be. There will be a lot less war. But more democracy. Fuck oh, yeah! <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. So that depresses me. Because <laughs> <laughs> see, they can uh, monitor, you know, Al-Qaeda and stop oh. the terrorists before they hit us. But it's, it's monitoring thought crime. That's what it's doing. Yeah, I do. Minority Report. <laughs> totally. For... I mean, they already do that with, like, how many times have that been done with, like, uh, suicide attempts and stuff, where they're like, I'm going yeah. to kill myself on 4chan, and 4chan's like, uh, or they're like, no, I'm going to shoot up a school on yeah, 4chan. They report it they it's like, I'm going to report you to the police, and the guy gets caught. Like, <laughs> that's good. I, that is in good. That, case, that is good. good. But for... It's something, yeah, I, I'm still thinking that... Pentagon and yeah. DARPA, and... I, it, it's inevitable, and that's what annoys me. What's the bit Rand Corps in this somewhere? Oh, definitely. Rand Corp. <laughs> they're always in there. Indeed. Anyway. Building GLaDOS they are. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Um, any ideas, anything you want to actually say, like please harass us on Facebook, post yeah. some stuff and we'll talk about it. We'll let you know about doing the, the whole live streaming thing because we'll yeah. do that pretty soon. We'll do. And again, sorry good? for the delay. Sorry I again. This was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Even though we rehashed this before. Oh, but it's going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll catch you later. I'm Tristan. I'm Nathan Waters. Oh, I said that at the beginning. We need full names at the end. Oh uh, yeah. Tristan Grace. Awesome. See you guys next time. <laughs> week? Yes. Next week. <laughs> hey, Pi55 here, Nathan, Tristan. Um, so, I've got to read this article. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that has to be in the update. <laughs>